Teaching and Assessment Strategies in a Practice-Based Teacher Education Program, Instrument Validation. I am Kiyomi Matsumoto Royo, and my co-researcher is Maria Soledad Ramirez Montoya. The challenge of transforming a teacher education program into a practice-based teacher education program involves relevant innovations, especially innovation regarding the type of teaching and assessment strategies that are developed for teacher educators in course in campus programs. The instrument was designed considering the evidence of the implementation of practice-based teacher education and the instruments that have been developed. It has two dimensions. First, opportunities for an approach to pedagogical practice in the teaching. Second, opportunities for an approach to pedagogical practice in the assessment. The methodology consisted of two rounds of the Delphi method. A panel of eight experts was formed. The expert assessment of the regents in terms of their clarity, coherence, and relevance, and the sufficiency of the regents. Beside, they given comments and observation by regents. Results. Round 1. All the regions meet the validity criteria, so the decision was made to keep them. The observation analyze helps to modify some verbs, concepts, connectors, and examples in several of them. Round 2. The results were analyzed using Kendall W concordance coefficient. This showed high significance. All the regions meet the validity criteria. The observation analysis allowed minor adjustment. The expert panel validated the regions as clear consistent with the dimension, relevant in the measurement as sufficient to analyze the dimension. The instrument validation process produces results that allow us to affirm that the instrument allow us to collect valid information on the teaching and assessment strategies of pedagogical practice that teacher educators declare in their lesson plans. Future research could complement the information collected with data uh, that may be reported by pre-service teachers, class observation, and the evidence of assessment processes.